I'm a reviewer, so let the reviews be joined. Hey guys, your friend Don Bot back yet again with another video review. As you can see, we're continuing my series on the Combiner Wars Victorian gift set. This is episode 6. Got one more to go. And in this video, we're going to look at the last of the individual figures. We're going to look at the leader of the Torchbearers, the Voyager class, Pyra Magna. A very cool mode. And I've got my camera kind of sideways here. Give me a chance to adjust there. There we go. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Uh, but. Again, a nice remold and repaint of another Combiner Wars figure, which this one, of course, is a repaint remold of the Protector Bot Hotspot, which was, of course, redone into the Combaticon uh, Onslaught. And then we got Power Magna here. And then we got the G2 Onslaught. And then we got Bludgeon from the TFCC set. And then we got two more for the Unite Warriors Hotspot and the Unite Warriors Onslaught. So seven uses of this mold by itself. Not too bad for this one. Again, this is another fire truck design for off the hotspot. Uh, only gripe I have with this figure because she has great use. The other combiners or other t members of this team have more green than red uh, on their in their bodies than this one does. This she has more red than anything. She has does have green here and there. And on her some of her body but she's more red than anything she does have the silver of course the silver on the front here and of course the cybertronian script on the sides but uh other than that she's still pretty good the only few gripes i have with this mold are the, particularly the paint on this one i want to raise this ladder up to show one thing one is i kind of still wish kind of wish they could put a panel like right here just something to cover this up you know, maybe a little something here you can flip down or something just to get it out of the way. But uh, kind of, of course, kind of hide, you know, her head and stuff in there. And then on mine, I don't know if it's like this on everybody else's. You can kind of see the split right there down the middle. Basically where the two plastics are together for the leg or the this part of the truck. It's still, you can kind of see it there. It's not that big, maybe a little small bit of paint issue on it i don't know if it's like that on everybody it could just be mine i i don't know and then the only other one of the other gripes i have is i wish they had painted this silver here in the middle for the rims basically for her the other two voyager classes or excuse me the deluxe classes for this series had that i kind of wish they just kept it going for all of them uh and then lastly the silver back here for our hands kind of sticks out a little bit more because in truck mode you kind of can see the hands kind of like reaching in the back so that's kind of a bad thing for it not that bad of a deal it's good because it works really well with the other ones uh you know the the two the helicopters for this set the two alpha bravo uh skyburst and that they didn't have the silver on their hands which kind of didn't really kill them but i kind of wish that was all of them had the silver paint for the hands to just to make them match but still, it's pretty cool. But other than that, there ain't no really other issues I have with this. Uh, or at least the paint scheme on this. Because like the originals, or the rest of the team, you know, when we first saw them, they had to, it seemed to me like they had a different paint job. You know, their the red was a little bit lighter, the greens were darker. But I guess all the feedback people were giving about saying they didn't like the way it looked, uh, they kind of switched around made the green lighter and the red darker but that's 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 just one thing and also i do kind of wish they i meant to one other thing wish they put some silver like right in here on these doors for it just to give it a little bit more spiff nothing real major but again just a small little deal but let's go ahead and transformer the transformer all you gotta do is flip this up you'll want to it's like just push that up more out of the way uh, you can go ahead and like separate these this whole section here when you do that I want to show you there's like four pegs or at least six pegs back in here that attaches it really well you can go ahead and raise the front parts of the engine basically up here or the drop you know the cockpit whatever flip those up and they're nice clicking positions when you know it's in place uh, pull this down and straight 
do the same on this side. You can see here it popping. One thing about these two, or about this, is as you can see she has, I'm going to pull these ratchets out a little bit, which is she does have some really good ratchets right in here. Uh, you have pegs right here. You got two right here on the inside of her legs basically. And you got two more here on the upper part of her leg. All that pegs together really well in there. Keeps it really secure all together. You also have a couple of peg holes here for the front that snaps it all together. Makes it look come together really well. Uh, next you want to twist these around right here below the hip. Straighten it out like so. You do this mostly. You can also don't forget the heel bit here for as well. Uh, always forget that. Don't forget to turn this one around as well and flip out our heel like so and you can straighten her legs back out just to get them straight you know stand her up you can see how well she's kind of heavy because of the way the, the ladder is right now but we'll get that fixed matter of fact we can do that right now to do this to do the ladder for the robot mode you rotate it around like so uh, it's got a peg right here and then there's a peg hole right there for it that will peg right in you'll lay it down basically you flip these out just for the moment you'll rotate this down and then you will come on rotate this back rotate oh well I almost forgot you gotta rotate this back and then rotate it up I'm trying to do it the opposite way my bad there I uh, didn't show that but you rotate this section down like so and then you rotate it up like so and when you do so you'll reach you'll know, raise these back up you got these two little peg holes right here on each side and you got the peg here it will just peg right into that just to keep it secure and actually looks pretty good with that we'll stand her up and bear with me while I raise the camera back up and you're going to just basically pull these apart rotate them down to the side like so and you'll hear it real good she's got some real good ratchets right there in her upper shoulders rotate these down form her hands and lastly all you got to do is uh, open the front panel here and here we have her head raise that up and flip it back and you're closed and we have power magna in her robot mode pretty nice I love the paint scheme on these guys. Uh, again, you have more silver here on her shoulders. You got, of course, her hands are nice and silver. Makes it look really good. But the, one of the best features of these guys is, of course, their face sculpts. I'm going to try to get her as close as I can without it going out of focus. But they're, they're, they all of them have some really nice head paint and head sculpts on there. They're all new. Uh, you got Pyra here. Of course, she's got the silver for her face, the blue in her eyes, and it got a little red around them. And then she's got the red, nice red in the crown and stuff. Looks really, really good. Definitely, definitely love that. Uh, but you know, they all, all of them did that really, really well. They do have some minor paints here and there, but it's like with mine, you kind of this kind of bothers me I, I think it's most because i know it's there and every time i look at her like that i kind of feel see it now her weapon is this it's a cudgel basically like an axe uh you just basically just slide it into her hand and this is basically going to be one of the main parts for their combined weapon once you get it all them all combined which will be in my next video but that's going to be it for this because i don't want to show the transformation into her combined mode just yet we'll do that on the next video uh, but again guys please like comment and share this video if you haven't done so please subscribe and don't forget to check out uh, my sponsor the prime toys dot net where you get collector grade toys without the collector grade pricing and you can also use the code transmissions at checkout to get 10 percent off your order so definitely be sure to check them out and we wouldn't have that code this we were also they were also sponsoring another great podcast the transmissions podcast great group of guys good i listen to them all the time again and they are just funny they it's great 
Uh, I'll have links both to both the website for, for Prime Toys and the transmissions down below. Definitely check those guys out. And that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. Look forward to the next one, which will be my last of this series. We're going to look at the combined mode of this set. We're basically slide, slide her out of the way. We're going to see how Victorian comes out to look. So be sure to watch for that video. That should be up the right after this one. Uh, I believe that this one's going up on a Friday, so that one will be up Saturday. But that being said, guys, Adama saying thanks for watching. And Pyro says, I hope to hear from you soon.